MC Mining came in here and welcome to this next episode on the Crystal Craft server. I know it's been over a week since I got a video made and I apologize for that. But I have been uh, busy both uh, doing little things here and there on the server, but I also have been playing another game uh, that I have been working on on getting recorded and hopefully I'll have that series out to you uh, pretty soon but uh, again not much take uh, done in here and not too much done around this area either I was working on a roof design and you can't really see it from here and I think the scale might be a little too big but I'm not going to be uh, worried about that too much at the moment um, I have found a new shader pack it is faithful 64 uh, I've been using faithful 32 and this is faithful 64 and still using Edie's shaders so, let me show you a few things that I have done. So, this, this cube right here, I extended one more block this direction. It used to end here. I brought it out here. Which means I had to extend all of this one. And the reason for that was to give this little bit of a nonsensical spiral staircase here. I went ahead and filled in all of this down here and then I have this little uh, temp staircase that leads here and I've been working on another platform over on on this side so my sharks there so this looking down on the uh, the scenery and that chunks not loading oh well and then come down this way a little bit and another observation post that would look out into the desert if it'll load in fact I oh need needed to load before I move around um, so I was gonna have this accessible only by going through uh, going through one of the uh, shops or something that I might punch in to the side of one of these. But let me go ahead and let's do this entire path. Oh yeah, the, uh, the track has been laid all the way. Uh, Sun Fury has laid it all. Uh, he said he needed to uh, uh, decorate it, beautify it, as it were, still. Alright, coming on down, around this way. I've got a lot of unloaded chunks, so let me pause my fraps real quick so that it will load in. Alright, well, I went ahead and turned off my shaders. It's just not loading in very well with the shaders running and recording at the same time. So, got the path way going around. And I'm just going to go ahead and walk this whole thing uh, just so that uh, you can see the layout of it all. Did I do this one? No, I did not do that yet. There's another area I'm still working on. So, uh, last episode I was talking about making a path that connected everything. And I am not completely happy with uh, andesite but uh, it's definitely a very defined pathway so we have the cobblestone pathway that wanders around and down into the ravine but the uh, andesite and uh, smooth stone half slabs make for this uh, very formal looking pathway and I try to be somewhat organic with its design, kind of having it flow and weave 
here and there. Uh, I've started working on a little waterfall. At the moment, it's just a water source block up there, and it cascades down. But I did make this little pond here, and this uh, bridge over it. Excuse me, sidestepping bridge. It goes around it. A little uh, support columns there. So it comes up this way and it splits to this side of the tower and this side of the tower and I have fixed the door placements on these and coming on the back side is just this little stair step down doesn't go anywhere yet all right so it splits that way and this way and then coming this way it splits again, it goes up into this cave system, or it comes over this way, and it splits again. But anyway, if you come up here, it leads to block blocks area, and uh, I didn't have it actually touch his. I didn't know uh, how he wanted that to look, but this is kind of where I had it aiming for uh, that corner. So, coming back down this way, and this has taken so much andesite. Uh, down here, I've uh, made another little uh, wading pool with the uh, waterfall that was there. And it just, uh, very similar uh, bridge design. It's just got uh, support columns underneath it. Come on, there we go. And it just kind of ends here, but it does have this uh, foot uh, footpath over there. But let me go. Ahead. I'll go ahead and go this way. So this was too tight of a spot to do my uh, design that I have been doing, where you use the uh, half slab or the slabs t and then the andesite. So you just kind of do this little zigzag pattern. And it gets you up top. Now, over here, so there's the tower entrance. Over here, if you come up this way, it just comes and bypasses all of that. So that's the main way for uh, to get to Block's house. And then Block can use that alternate path to come up here. Or you can go around. And then I added this. This ended up being flat. I was going to try to make some sort of arching design on it, but it ended up just being flat and smooth. So that's the pathway up there. Then you have the the uh, walking path from there to here. And now I'm not going to fill this in because that's part of uh, design was to leave that unconnected. But yeah, the uh, the little uh, bridgeway comes over here. And then you get to see all of this part of the uh, sky tram. You walk under here. Again, that way it leads back. You can come up here. And you can see this uh, mega structure being uh, worked on. And then I'll go ahead and come into here. And it winds in and out of this uh, uh, little cave system over to here it's getting tighter 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 and then you have this little observation deck now there's a there's a beacon with jump boost that's why I could jump so high but you have this observation deck to see the cathedral so let's run back into or well, out of the cave All right, and back at this intersection. So if you follow this way, and I need to remove those two. Yep, a little too tight. So it comes down here, this way, around this way. And then I got to this point and ran out of antisite. But anyway, here's the back side of the cathedral. 
And once uh, the cathedral is... I'm not sure whether it is actually... Well, I know the entrance is on the far side. Uh, Jay Breeze has already said that. But I don't know if there's going to be any uh, other backdoor entrance or or how it's going to be done. But uh, there does need to be a walking path eventually going around to it. Maybe, maybe through the desert off of one of the other pathway branches. You know, double jump is a little annoying sometimes. And uh, this was a waterfall. Uh, Jay Breeze had it walled off so that it wouldn't flow into his area. Well, I just capped it off with these couple pieces of dirt so that it wouldn't fly off. Oh, double jump doesn't let you jump under trees. And I, I've done so much terraforming with all of this stuff as I've placed it. Um, like this used to be just a giant hole and I filled it in as I made these uh, staircases. And I brought all the floor, the ground level of this up too and patched a giant hole in. So lots and lots of terraforming. This has taken me probably a good 10 to 12 hours worth of work. And like all of this, this was just a giant dugout hole and I've had to uh, uh, shape it. I had to cut into this. Uh, I think yeah, this, this, all this jetted out quite a ways. I had to redesign some of this area and <laughs> had to manipulate a lot of this so that all the spacing would work so that you had the uh, uh, smooth flowing stairways. But yeah, that's the, that's what I have been doing and there's not much sense in making a video of me placing a bunch of blocks down. Uh, to shapen out a pathway. So that's why I hadn't recorded anything up yet. Uh, it looks like I'm going to need to put some more torches down. Oh, an egg. I will take an egg. All right. So let me uh, see what else I can do. I need to get uh, something finished up there and uh, some more stuff on the backside of Jaybreeze. And once I knock that out, I will show you what I've done. I thought I'd show you something else I've done. So this is my beacon under my uh, mountain top. And all this, I don't know if you can see very well, but all this I have hollowed out. I had a bunch of my uh, uh, mining tunnels through here, but I was needing uh, all the other block types, so I just plowed all of it down. And I was working over there when my uh, pickaxe finally broke. And I let it break because I, I couldn't repair it anymore. So, uh, out of this, out of this area right here, I've only got that much. I tossed the stone. But, yeah, this is where I've been getting my uh, andesite. And, uh, now I need another pickaxe. Alright, I'm back, and I've gotten some more stuff accomplished. Let's go ahead and hop down here real quick. So, I ended up having to do a bunch more mining. But, I managed to get enough andesite. So coming off of the tower here, now has this walkway. And it has this little bit of a transition here into the, uh, the mine, or not even the mine, but the ravine, the ravine path. And then got this far to this, and I may May redo some of this, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, this is one of the other guys' walkway project. I might need to incorporate using the uh, iron bars as uh, 
safety railings in some of my other areas. I think that would look nice. All right, let's run over back over to the uh, cathedral. We'll go ahead and run this direction. Because I haven't looked at it from this side in a while. You know, that might be kind of fun to make a little bridge over that. But, no time soon. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've actually not even looked over here myself. Let's see, do I have my... Huh, dynamic lighting is not enabled. I will have to look into that. Alright, so I just brought it down here to ground level. Again, waiting on the uh, his build to see how it looks before I do anything else. But just made this little zigzag. It stopped here by the tree last time. So that's really all I did. And you'd be surprised how many blocks things like this takes. And... Uh, let me hop over here. Some more progress has been made on the gold farm. And uh, it looks like some of it's actually operational. Uh, maybe maybe one third of it? Yeah, the, it looks like maybe the lower chamber is working. So, how do you get in? Let's come around here. Do I want to go in? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's. This looks like it's a safe spot. So let's go ahead and hop in right here. Uh, collection chambers. Okay. And you can collect XP. Okay. I should put this stuff down here so I know what's mine while I'm here. Anyway, this is a... I don't know if this is an entirely unique design or not. Cool. Alright, so it looks like each of them might have their own water stream on each level. And somehow they've got to funnel down from one level to the next. Not in that exactly at the moment. Anyway, so they flow down into here. The collection chambers and then the iron golems will kill them whenever. And you get XP from it. Oh, and they'll kill uh, jockey zombies without killing the bird. Okay. Not too bad. So one ingot, two ingots, or nuggets rather, five nuggets. So it seems like it's going to be fairly good, especially one. I bet you the uh, a well not AFK, but the uh, spawning platform will be up here somewhere. So that's a water track. No, it wouldn't be able to be a water track. So, yeah. I guess it would be... AFK would be somewhere around here. That way... Oh, you'd have to be... 16 blocks? Something like 16 blocks. Maybe, away. 
So you'd be here, this level would spawn, that level would spawn, and down there would spawn. And they, as long as they aren't more than 32 blocks away, they won't despawn, I think is how the math works on all this. Yep, it's pretty cool looking. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. But uh, this is something that uh, Block, uh, Sun, and Jaybreeze have all been doing um, when they get on. I have been making paths. <laughs> Alright, let's look at something else. Alright, well I'm down here in my beacon again, and I figured... I got my uh, ambient lighting to work again. So, holding a torch, not holding... And then also throw the torch down on the ground, and it stays lit. There we go. So, I got a lot of this carved out. And uh, who needs a uh, mob farm when you just have a flat, open area at uh, lava level? <laughs> uh, mobs have been spawning in here like crazy. And... I don't know. I'll probably end up digging it all out. But it goes that way a little bit. Still. But yep, yeah, this this wall here is outside of the beacon effect, so that's as far as that way will go. I should probably map it out with torches, but I found out that uh, there's a slime chunk in here. Finally, I have a way of getting slime balls again. Uh... Hadn't found a uh, slime chunk, and the swamps that I had been to had not been uh, uh, having any uh, slime spawn. All right. There we go. Let's see. Haven't traversed through this area much. Looks like it's still intact and unchanged. All right. Well, anyway, something else. Well, it's nighttime here, and I was working on trying to come up with some ideas for little uh, lamps, uh, street lamps or something. And I guess I... Well, I remember that sea lanterns didn't give off light, but apparently items in... Uh, Light sources and item frames do not give off ambient light, so that won't work. And plus, uh, I guess anybody who doesn't have ambient lighting would never see the light source anyways. So I'm trying to come up with some sort of uh, non-traditional but streamlined uh, setup for a for some sort of light post. Because, you know, normally it goes straight up with the, uh, generally, with like a, a block on it, and then you have uh, the trap door surrounding it and stuff. But I didn't want that. In fact, 1.9 will be really, uh, really great with the uh, end rods, the light sources that are only uh, two pixels wide. That... I have uh, lots of ideas for those, but uh, I wish there was some sort of lantern or something that you could that you could just hang. You could just say, "Oh, I want a lantern hanging from that," and uh, that would be your light source. But not at the moment. So let me knock out some other ideas, see if something else will work. Alright, another little thing that I haven't noticed before. That uh, full blocks will transmit the redstone signal, but uh, non-full blocks will not. So that, that uh, gets rid of another idea I had. Oh well. Alright, well, I'm about to call this quits for this episode, but I updated my uh, map of the area and got the gold farm included on it. And 
some of my uh, pathways have rendered in on it, so that's nice. But uh, I've been working on a couple ideas. Uh, this is a... Uh, oh, I went into my inventory. Okay. So, a uh, redstone lamp with the daylight sensor on top that is inverted so it turns on when it gets dark. And I just went out into the middle of an ocean and made a map of the, the blueness of it all. So, a little bit different that way. Uh, a blue light. Not that I really like that. It's just a, an idea. Uh, on a piston... Uh, eh, Extended by a redstone block on the base. I mean, it's a it's an idea, but not what I want to go for. I'm really looking forward to 1.9 coming out. So I gotta come up with some lighting systems. Um, I don't know. I've I tried using hoppers and cauldrons and. Uh, Walls, fences, gates, all sorts of different things. And I'm just not impressed with the, uh, the designs that you can come up with on a small scale. Now, if you go on a larger scale, it's, you can make some pretty impressive stuff. But just a small, small single block width uh, pole, you can't get very creative with a uh, with a little column or base or anything anyway I think I'll wrap this episode up at this point and I thank you all for watching please leave a like down below and I'll see y'all next time bye